All right. Uh, welcome to another episode of Frederico's Kitchen. I'm your host, Frederico. I'd like to thank, first of all, thank God for this blessing of being on the air for 10 years, for 10 plus years. Actually, the anniversary was last month, but uh, because of time and schedules and things like that, couldn't get into the studio, so we decided to do it in March. And so here we are, and we're in front of a live studio audience as well, which we always like to invite people out to come and check out the show, enjoy some recipes, see some things that they probably haven't seen before. Might We do a little, we get a little creative in the kitchen sometimes, and so we like to show you how to make meals from items that you might have at home. So this first recipe that we're going to do, it is called, uh, it's a uh, Frederico's Bad Bean Bowl. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take a couple different kind of beans. You know how when you go, like, say to the, this one particular place, I won't call the name because they're not a sponsor. So you buy a bowl, you get the rice, you get the beans, you get the this, the that. It ends up being like $10, $12 or more. So we're going to show you how to keep that economical at home. So anyway, we're going to start with, we got some black beans, about 16 ounces of black beans. And then I had some other beans at home. I know this is going to sound strange to you. But once you taste it, you're gonna gonna agree with me. I had some uh, pork and beans. So what I did was I took the pork and beans, and I completely took all the all the syrup and the goo and everything that comes with them, and I decided to whoo, get the little. Oh, my grill's working good now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat up those beans a little bit. That sizzle mic is working. And then, so we're going to heat that up. We're going to show you some other ingredients. We're going to add some, you know, you can do peppers and onions in your bean or whatever. So on this show, we try to show you how to make meals for a crowd. And so since we have a crowd here, we ain't feeding them, but we got a crowd here anyway. But uh, we wanted to do something, you know, a little different. So that's what we're doing. So we're going to heat up both beans on the grill. Uh, get another spoon. So I'm going to heat up the black, and we're going to heat up the pinto. And yes, you can do this on a grill, you can do this on a pan, it doesn't matter what you do it on. It's just, we just want to heat them up a little bit, because they're already done. I know this, sounds, this looks a little strange to some of you guys, but it's okay, like so. And so what you're going to do, when you build your bowl, you're going to add rice or whatever else you want to add to your, add to your particular bowl which suits your taste. So we're basically giving you, like, say if you were doing a Super Bowl party or a whatever kind of party, uh, had some friends over, you know, neighbor down the street or whatever, and you just wanted to have something different. And my vegetarian friends are always crying, you never make anything vegetarian. Got you. I got you again. So we're just going to heat those up really good. And then what's in our, you'll see the recipe tile if you're watching the show at home, of course, once it airs, uh, in this bad bean bowl. And the name of our sh this show was a little of this. So we got the pinto beans, we got the black beans, we got some rice that were already cooked. Uh, you can add chicken or beef if you want to, but we won't in this case. Uh, and then we're going to do three medium potatoes chopped, uh, medium onion, and two tablespoons of taco seasoning. And that's going to be that recipe. You're going you're gonna to love it. So, and we don't have to necessarily cook the tomatoes. You can have the tomatoes on the side if you like. You know what I mean? So, that way, you can just add them on top. Come on, Grill. Keep cooking, baby. Don't stop. Don't stop. Get it, get it. And I don't look up at the camera that much because I don't want to cut my finger. You know, blood and tomatoes don't. I know there's such thing as a blood orange, but I don't think there's such thing as a blood tomato, is it? You know, don't want to do that. These tomatoes are a little ripe, which is okay for this particular recipe. And so we're going to add everything to it. And then when we, when we display it out, you'll see what I'm talking about, how good it looks uh, and how tasty it is. You're going to like this recipe a lot. Uh, it's allergy season in there. I have been affected. I'm not immune this year has been a rough year for allergies uh, since we don't have a lot of rain. I'm not sure if it's raining today, but it's supposed to. So 
We're going to cook that. And you see, in the other pan, we already got our pizza crust in here. That's for the next recipe. I know you're excited and wondering, oh, why is he doing that? Why is that sitting there? Everything's for a reason. Everything's for a reason. So get that all chopped up. So if the, what does the audience think about that so far? Does it make, does that make sense to you guys? Does it make sense that uh, you would try something like this or tell somebody about it? Hopefully you're enjoying the show so far. And uh, thank you for coming out on a busy Saturday. You know, giving up time to say, hey, let's go check this guy out. We hear he's okay. You know, I hope you weren't disappointed. If you were, you'll live. You know, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I try not to disappoint. You know, we try to, try to do some good things and take care of our audience. So these are pretty much warm enough, almost. So, and then we'll just add a little salt and pepper. You don't have to, but I do. My favorite is Himalayan pink salt uh, because it's better for you. There we go. Got that. And we're going to take this off in a sec. We have some trays that we will just set that over there. Hopefully it's not in the way blocking anything. And so, so let's see if I make sure I didn't miss anything in that recipe. It seems like I'm going too fast all, all of a sudden. So pinto beans, baked beans, oh, the rice. That's what it is, the rice. Don't want to forget about the rice. Let's go with the blue this time. Yep, don't want to forget about the rice. So, sorry I got my back turned to you. Don't hit me with a rock or nothing. Or, well, the audience can't throw any food because they haven't been fed. So, yep. So we're just going to dip out a little rice. Not cooperating, but the crew is probably going nuts that I got my back turned this long. Sorry, guys. Just put a little bit. They're probably cussing me out back there. What are you doing? You're not on camera. We got dead camera. No, you don't. You'll be all right. Okay. So there we go. Let's put that over there. You don't want to block anything. That way we'll leave it out there so you can drool. I know, I'm bad. Bad host. Bad host. I know. It's okay. You'll be all right. And see, like it's like kind of like you when you're going down a buffet line and you're wondering what to get. Oh, I want to try that. Oh, I want to try this. Oh, no, maybe, uh, maybe that. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Put some tomatoes there. And then how about we 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 should probably should add some grilled onions to this, huh? That probably probably make it a little bit more interesting. What do you, what does the audience think? Yeah. All right, so we'll add some grilled onions to the to that. Taking a chance. Woo! Got a bit there. Ha ha. Yeah, we'll add some grilled onions. So we'll put. Uh, that's too big. Uh. Well, no, not really. We'll add some more beans because I heard somebody's stomach growling a minute ago. So, and this will give you like you can do this at home. You know, make your own bowl, heat them up real quick. You can even use a microwave to do this if you want it to. You know, but I just use this. I like this little flat grill. I even use it at home sometimes, just because it's uh it's so convenient. You know, to uh, to use at home. I'm making a mess, but it's okay. And it's easy to clean too. Very easy to clean. Hardly takes anything. It's got that Teflon on it. So I'll uh, leave that there. Clean that up. 
Let's put some more beans on. Heat those up. And we'll, oh, I'll hold that back here for now. And let's see, grilled onions, that's what you wanted, right? Yep. Better make sure I got them while you're clapping. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be something if I didn't have them. Be like, oh, we want grilled onions. And he don't have not now. That's southern for none, just in case anybody was wondering. So we'll do that. That only take us only take only take us a second to do that. Ha! Love Japanese restaurants. You go in there and they be making that noise when they're chopping. Ha 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 ha! They're having a good time. I don't want to leave sometimes I go in there. Not that I can speak a lot of Japanese. I understand a little bit, but I think it's kind of cool. They greet you and everything that way when you come in and when you're going out the door. So add some grilled onion. I should do some garlic, but I don't want to hurt you. I get carried away with garlic. What can I tell you? You know, that happens sometimes. Right. So we're motoring along. And then we're going to get to that next recipe any second now. We're probably going to have to start with a, ooh, that got that one too hot. But I got a backup. I got a backup. Nee, 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 nee. I got a backup. So our next recipe is our breakfast pizza. So basically, I decided to do this because the crust was on sale. That's why I got it. What can I tell you? So we take the pizza crust, and we're going to add a little tomato sauce, right? We're going to spread that out. Let me make sure I get my, clean my hands a little bit. So on this recipe, we have uh, Frank Rico's breakfast pizza. We got pizza crust, tomato sauce, we got the basil leaves, four of them, uh, half a cup of mozzarella, four sausage links, two, uh, two, uh, two ounce pepperoni slices, and we're going to do a fried egg, yeah, on it, a couple fried eggs, Himalayan salt, and pepper. So, and you know what else? I had, I found some sun-dried tomatoes. So since I found some sun-dried tomatoes, I figured I might as well use them. So that, I'm going to add those too. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to add, since I had another piece of onion back there, I'm going to add that for this bean bowl. Man, y'all didn't know y'all were going to get this kind of treatment when you came, huh? Like, man, what is he going to do? People call me and they say, what you going to cook? What you going to cook? Can't tell you. Why not? If you're not coming, you, you got to wait to see the show. Oh, man, you don't never tell nobody. Nope, I sure don't. I make sure I keep it a secret. I don't tell nobody. If my mom was here, I probably wouldn't tell her either. She might tell my auntie. I'm just saying, because they used to talk all the time. I know, matter of fact, I know she was told her. So I'm going to take the rest of those beans off. I don't want them to be all dry. Needed a bigger something different, but we're gonna make this work. And get that pizza going over there. But that's the cool thing about cooking, you can do more than one thing at a time. You know. You got four eyes or a couple different uh utensils. Make it work. Make it work, baby. Put that right there. I don't think that'll be in the way. We got tomato right there already, so you get something to even that out. So, like so. And then while we, we're adding the mozzarella, right? Lots of mozzarella. Got more, don't worry. Like that. See, this is quick. I also have a do a uh, 
fantastic, I mean an absolutely fantastic uh, dessert pizza. But that's for another show. So we're going to do the sun-dried tomatoes. That's added in. That's not on the recipe tile, so I apologize. I forgot to tell the graphics guy. Apologi apologies, Fred, but he, he's used to it. I do it all the time. So, You know, that's the good thing about cooking. When you're cooking, you can change what you want to add or what you've done on the fly, and it doesn't matter. you got to make it your own. So you got to make it your own. So I might have to stab this with my knife if it don't open right. Sorry. Man, that basil smells great. Can you smell it? <laughs> fresh basil. Nothing like fresh basil. Nothing like it, baby. It's just, I said two, I said two to four leaves. I'm sorry. That stuff smells good. I might have to add some more cheese, too. Make it, make it melty and cheesy. What's a pizza without it being melty and cheesy? That's like macaroni and cheese. You can never have enough cheese and macaroni and cheese. I don't care what nobody say. Oop, man down. I don't care what nobody say. You can never have enough cheese and macaroni and cheese. You can add it to, to your eyes pop out of your head, as far as I'm concerned. So I'm going to add our sausage. And that only takes a few minutes, like 10, 12 minutes to cook. So it might as well use it. Well, I don't want to go overboard with the sausage, but make it very easy I know huh you didn't expect all this like a hot hot yeah we you can tell we like doing this get a little carried away my dad when I'm before my dad passed, cook making dinner for him. Food ain't ready yet. No, Dad. Duh, what taking so long? Like Dad, come on. You don't want it was frozen. Something frozen. Taking too long. I was like, well, you want it to be done. I'm not gonna give you raw food, Pop. As much as you want me to, I'm just not gonna do it. So, and then I'm gonna take my wherever my lid is to cover that so that it can uh, cook a little better. That would only take a couple, couple minutes, right? And then, let's see, I need to take the rest of those beans off. Keep it moving, clean my grill, in case you want to add something else. Yep, so my audience that got quiet, I hope they didn't fall asleep with these two recipes. I saw some drool on the floor a minute ago, but I know there's no baby in the audience, so I'm just checking on you, making sure you're all right, didn't pass out or nothing. Yeah, the, the thing about this grill, it gets, yeah, it gets a lot of use, but it's, uh, it's very easy to clean. Throw that away. Very easy to clean, so. Those beans, that's going to go good with that, that bowl, you add the rice, you know, and uh, oh, cilantro, that's what it was I didn't put on there. Yeah, I got to chop that cilantro real quick. Yep, so, uh, trying to find some place to put everything. Cilantro, cilantro, cilantro. Get a different knife. Yep. Now I got another one. I'll just use a pair. Cut it up real quick. Get the stalks out. Cilantro is really good. It doesn't. I like it. The more you chop it, the more fragrant fragrant it gets. I mean, it's it smells. It's got. It's wonderful. Chop it too much. And there's your onion that you guys wanted. I'll clean my grill. I'm making a mess here. You know, 
How are we looking on time? Hopefully, I think we'll get everything done. We decided to just do two recipes and not go crazy on this last segment of this show, just to just to be on the safe side. And get a bigger knife. That was okay, but I wanna, I wanna, I wanna party. <laughs> yep, so people ask, oh, what are you doing after the show? Oh, I'm sleeping. That's probably what I'll be doing. Cause it takes a lot of takes a lot of prep to do this show. Here are big tools, what can I tell you guys? Now that'll finish that bowl off for you. You'll, you can put anything in your bowl you want. Oh, it's kind of like, it's like almost like a vegetarian Super Bowl party. You know, you can add meat as you want. But I, uh, just one of them things, the vegetarians go nuts sometimes on me, so. I just like to tease them. Let them know, yeah, I can cook vegetarian. I can even cook vegan, if that's what you want. But I'm a meatitarian. I'll, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, give me a piece of meat. Oh, yeah. I don't eat meat every, you know, every meal, but. Well, maybe, maybe a few. Okay. You know, well, no, nah, not every meal. Not every, every meal. You know, sometimes, you know, breakfast, cereal, fruit, that kind of thing. So, yeah. You know what I mean? But, so cilantro, and then we got the. Grilled onions. Let's check on our. Ooh, looking good. Almost. So let me take those onions off. All right. Well, look like we're good, looking good on time. Uh, so is everybody enjoying themselves so far? Having a good time? Seeing me make a mess? You know? So this is going to be like a, almost like a, a bar, like a, what do you call it? Taco bar, Taco bar bean bowl bar, whatever you want to call it, bar, you know, where you just kind of go up. Don't use your fingers. I have a thing about using fingers. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, that drives me nuts. I know it's finger food, but it's finger. Finger food means finger food in your plate, not in anybody else's. That's what that means. And you guys just reminded me I forgot something, so. I'm going to have to do that right now, is the egg for the pizza. Almost forgot. Shame on this audience for not telling me, but it's okay. We got time. Yep. We have time. If I could find my tongs, I'm sure they are behind me somewhere. So, do 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 do. Sure they are. So we just do it right here. There we are. We'll really clean the grill in a minute once we so yeah the eggs would not want to break right now. All right, baby. Turn it down. We'll go with three. This one's being difficult. Come on. <laughs> That's the magic of TV. But guess what? I can still do it. Can't beat me. <laughs> yeah. Love it. So what we're going to do, cook that egg really quick. A little. Like so. Come on, baby. Cook, cook. Turn it down too much, I guess. 
Oh, that pizza looks good. Can you get a shot of that? Make you happy. Make you do a happy dance, for real. So we're going to take, uh, I figured I would do it this way. Could have cooked it right on top of the pizza. But I wanted to make sure that we got it. Come on, baby. They don't want to cooperate now. But I got one that will. There's always one that will cooperate. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. Come on, baby. Come here. Doesn't have to be. Come on. Come on. I'm determined. What can I tell you? Determine. Determination is my middle name. People ask me my middle name, I never tell them. That's one, that's one thing you won't find out. All right. Okay, so it looks like we're are running out of time. Uh, she didn't want to cooperate. That's why you won't get a call back. about that there we go and we'll shut that down I made a mess what can I tell you thank you for coming to the show we really appreciate you guys uh, we're happy and so blessed to have been doing this for 10 plus years and we thank God for his many blessings and this great gift that I never thought that was a gift before until I finally realized, you know, hey, there's something to this. You know? There's something really to this. So there's your breakfast pizza. So so we had the we got a big bad mess right now, but we made the big bad bean bowl. You know, we did the the pork and beans that we completely changed. Did the black beans. We did, we have the salsa, we got the onions, we got tomatoes to go with it. And we did the pizza, the breakfast pizza, which has the sausage and the egg fried egg, the, um, what am I thinking? The sun-dried tomatoes. Senior moment, sorry, sun-dried tomatoes. Sun-dried tomatoes. So that's what we have. So I guess, looks like I have a few extra seconds uh, that's the thing about cooking shows sometimes, you know, you, sometimes you're too fast, sometimes you're too slow, and that kind of messes with your head, but anyway, so why don't I add, let's see, what, is that pizza missing anything, what do you guys think? Not missing anything, what about the, what about the bean bowl, missing anything? What kind of?